That war was an emergency. It was on our mind every single hour of the day. When they said I'm black and I'm proud, that meant something. It was the age of selfishness. It was the age of self-indulgence. It was the age of anti-authority. It was absolutely exhilarating. It was the greatest time to be alive ever, for sure. <laughs> The 60s was the last idealistic time. My thanks to all of you, and now it's on to Chicago, and let's win there. Thank you. I think an era ended with Robert Kennedy's death and Martin Luther King's and doomed us for some time, and we may still be in that time. I think Jack Newfield said it best when he said, uh, after that, we became um, might have been a generation of might have been. I think there's an amount of bitterness and animosity that our generation is going to carry to its grave. The 60s, the years that shaped a generation. In the late 1960s and early 1970s, something happened to a generation of young Americans that would mark them forever. It is a story of war, the struggle for racial equality, and the explosion of a counterculture. It was a time when a generation rebelled and lost its innocence.
sitting in the evening calm, watching the ships roll in, and then I watch them roll away again, yeah, I'm sitting on the dock of the bay, watching the tide roll away, Ooh, I'm sitting on the dock of the bay, wasting time.
Come on now, now make it level. 